Twice a month, I do this, and that's it. This your girl. Bronze Silk Apple 9. This is my best friend. This is my best friend. What do they call it? Strawberry legs? Mmm. A thing of the past. These two things right here are the reason why I don't shave. I don't shave. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Getting rid of the hair on my body. But I'm also like, I think I want to just now not have hair on my arms anymore. Forever. The difference? Epilating takes longer, but it lasts longer. Trimming, I'm obsessed with because you can't cut yourself. <laughs> and that's it! Give your armpit a round of applause. <laughs> Hello, did you miss me? Did you miss me? Seven months later, I'm back. I'm back! We gonna be back. Okay, I I'm gonna make another video about being back. Let's just get to business. If you click this video, you're trying to figure out how you can never shave again. Never shave again. I only shave when it's an emergency. If it ain't an emergency, I ain't doing it. I'm going to share with you how I spend my uh, maintenance Sundays. Getting rid of the hair on my uh, body. Today's video is keeping it simple. These two things right here are the reason why I don't shave. I don't shave. These are the stars of the show. Today's video, I'm just going to show you how I get rid of hair on my body about twice a month. I only have to do it like twice a month without shaving. I'm going to do my face. I'm going to do my underarms. I'm going to do... And you're like, I don't see any hair there. I'm going to tell you why you barely see nothing there. I'm going to do my arms. And I'm going to do... And I'm going to give you a little leg action. Oop. I'm going to show you why there's parts on my leg that don't ever grow hair back. Ever again. Ever again. And it's like a smooth strawberry. What do they call it? Strawberry legs? Mmm. A thing of the past. All right. So let's get to it because I don't want to do a lot of editing. <laughs> I'm coming back to YouTube long form videos and I don't want to do a lot of editing. So I'm going to try to get to the point. Mm-hmm. Number one. Wash your hands. Wash your hands. Um, the way I get rid of the hair on my face is, years ago, I did do laser hair removal, but when I did laser hair removal on my face and my underarms, it kind of just made it grow back thinner, but it was still there. So I used to have like an aggressive, it, it, I think I mentioned this in my other videos, I used to have aggressive <laughs> chin hairs. Like I was like, everybody's probably talking about me. Everybody's probably talking about me. Yeah. To where I was like, I need to do something about it. To now I forget. I be forgetting. Chair chair hair grows in my chinny chin chin so the way i get rid of it is two ways i either trim or use an epilator and this can do both but sometimes i use this if i don't want to use this because it's travel size but it's really like all you need is this this is the epilator bronze silk epil 9 this is my best friend this is my best friend when you get this epilator this is actually like a bumper you ever go bowling and you got bumpers that's what like i feel like this attachment is this is the real deal. This is what the epilator looks like without any, if you're just like hardcore, this is how you can use it. I'm not hardcore. So this kind of buffers it so it doesn't really touch your skin. That's all this attachment does. That's all this attachment does. So I'm even a bigger baby and I put baby powder and I just use this um, Burt's Bees dusting powder. We don't do Johnson & Johnson. They be trying to <laughs> people with those ingredients. So I just put this all over my face. And I don't really have that much. Oh, baby powder's getting everywhere. Maybe I should put this towel down. I'm gonna just go like this. I get my upper lip. So if your hair is thin, I say go ahead and use your trimmer. Otherwise, let's get to epilating. So the epilator looks like this once again. Um, it's speed number one or two. I'm gonna do two and it has a little light. So I just go like this. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what it is about the baby powder, but it's like, it's like makes it not hurt as much for some reason. I don't know why. But I go, my hair kind of goes down. So first I go up. And I know that it's pulling the hair when it hurts. It's almost like, you're like, is it even doing anything? It hurts when it's pulling the hair out of the root. So that's how I know. 
is getting something. I'm just gonna use you as my mirror. Ow! I got my little, my little peach fuzz. Ooh, I haven't done this in so long. And then I go across my chin. And then I kind of pull. This is where the stubborn hairs are. Mmm. It's like a tingling feeling. Woo! I'll do the other side. Mmm. You know how, like, sometimes you have, like, one thick hair? That's what the oom's from. It'd be like, oh, I, I know you just got that long hair right there. And I pretty much do it until I don't feel any more tingling or feel like it's pulling anything anymore. In the big, I've been doing this for a couple of years now. The first time I did this, I was all up in the mirror. So I'm just using you as my mirror. The chin and the cheeks are pretty easy. And I'm not too picky on, like, did I get every single hair? Um, if you want to check that out, use a mirror. Like, get a mirror all up in your face. But, fun fact, sometimes I like when there's a little hair right here. Because it'd be acting as, like, a hairy contour. <laughs> when I'm not wearing makeup. I'm like, oh, it creates a little shadow. And that's why I don't do this. Because I like the shadow that my hair like <laughs> creates on my face. All right. Now the painful part. My most sensitive part is my upper lip. Ooh, baby Jesus. Pray for us all. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Hold on. <laughs> no matter what, this is just a sensitive spot. Okay. Mm-hmm. Once again, I'm still going up because the hair is on my, on my stash. Go down. Hopefully I can zoom in on that later. Oh my gosh. You know what this looks like? Remember on Nickelodeon, Are You Afraid of the Dark? That's what this reminds me of. Maybe I should. I don't know, the light's gonna go on no matter what. I was trying to turn the light off. The light's gonna stay on. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna talk. I'm gonna be quiet real quick. Five minutes. Mm, mm, mm. I'm also gonna go sideways. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Sometimes I'll, I'll use my tongue to get it more like exact to push my skin. And I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes I'm a little punk when it comes to like this part right here. Ooh! So I'll just use, I'll just use this one. I could use this one or this one. I'll, I'll tell you how the difference is. I'm gonna leave this on the epilator, but I can just take the little trimmer, press this little button on the bottom. This is a, a Cleo. And the difference is this side is kind of like for more precise smaller and then this one's a little bigger hopefully you can see that okay there we go so now I'm just gonna since I'm a big baby and I I get too sensitive right here and I'm just gonna trim it and I'm gonna trim going up this does make me feel kind of like a man you know man be like that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so manly. But it's better than shaving. What I love about this is you can't really cut yourself. Done. So, I don't know who invented trimmers, but for some reason you can't cut yourself. Look at my face. It's so, it just looks ashy. <laughs> for some reason you can't cut yourself. I don't know how... That magic works. I'm just going like this. Or take a towel. And I'll rinse my face off with water later. It's 
so I guess I'm just gonna be a little ashy the rest of this video. I should have thought about this. I should have thought this through. Anyways, we don't care how I look. We just want the hair to be gone. Okay, next I'm gonna do my underarms. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what my underarms. I haven't gotten rid of the hair on my underarms in at least two weeks. Either 14 to... Uh, I don't know, it's a long time. 14 to 18 days, like at least two, two and a half weeks. Sorry, it's hot, so I got a little, ooh. Um, I'm gonna use the corner of this towel. <laughs> Get a little hot. Okay, anyways, this is what my armpit's looking like. Hopefully I can zoom in. And at first glance, it doesn't look like there's any hair there. This is how my underarm used to look when I shaved on day one. This is day 14, 18 days I haven't gotten rid of the hair under my armpits. Mind you, a few years ago I did do laser hair, but I never finished my sessions because then the pandemic happened. And then this epilator also helps it grow back thinner. So if I never did laser hair, this is the next best thing to use if you didn't do laser hair. And if you did la do laser hair and it still was growing back and you're like, I'm over this, I just want to... Get rid of the hair myself. I'm not going to keep going until there's no hair left. This is also a great thing to use. So with or without laser hair removal, this your girl. I don't know if you can see. There's like hardly any hair. Like I can get rid of this in less than 60 seconds. So when I, I use the epilator under my armpit like twice a month. Twice a month I do this and that's it. Max. I go to number two. I put some baby powder on there. And I think with the light, maybe you can see it better. I don't know. It's going to start from the bottom down. Now this does give you a little, ooh, sometimes. It's literally pulling the hair out from the root. But I feel like out of everything, this hurts the least. I don't know if it's better to show you this way. I pretty much go every direction. And then when I feel like there's a lot of baby powder in this, I just go like this over the bathroom sink. We're obviously not at the bathroom sink, but I just go like this. And you can kind of see my little hairs are in there. And that's it. Bam! So this side's done. This side's a go. It literally, you might, to you, might not look different, but if you put your head all up in here, that sounds really weird. But if you look really closely, <laughs> there are hairs there. It's just like, this is smooth, and this feels like little peach fuzz. That's just really the difference. Let me put a little bit here. Boom, boom, and I just rub it in and hit this side. Slow, slow, and then I'll go down as well. I feel like I'm getting a lot of powder in it. Shake that out and do it for another 25 seconds maybe and then I'm done. And that's it! Give your armpit a round of applause. <laughs> and she's done. Ooh. And now there might be like little, little hairs, but like for me, this is enough. It's like, they're like, you ever like get rid of the hair on your face and it's like maybe a blonde, it's like, like peach fuzz and hair are two different things. Like hair, I don't have, I don't know what the technical term is. The hair, you can pull out. Peach fuzz is almost like blonde and hard to even pull if you try to tweeze it out. I feel like if there's any hair left, it's like peach fuzz, not like hair. And I'm just like, I'm fine with that. But yeah. And now I don't have to do this for another two weeks. Isn't that awesome? All right. Same thing with face. I literally don't do any of this 
more than twice a month unless it's like maybe I'm going to the pool and then I want to like shave my legs for some reason I don't really care about my legs I don't mind shaving those if I shave them it's just because I'm like sure why not but if I really cared I would use this on my legs and I'm gonna use it for on my legs kind of for the first time today I'll explain why let's move on to the arms bam so I usually leave the hair, I'll take this watch off, I usually leave the hair in my arms, but like three times a year, I'd be like, let's get rid of it. So that's why if I do, it'll be randomly one day and have a photo shoot and I'm like, mm, I don't feel like having hair in my arms and I'll just shave it. But I'm also like, I think I want to just now not have hair in my arms anymore, forever. So... This is what my hair is looking like now. It's really stubby. I hope you can see it. And now we're gonna get rid of it. So I haven't used an epilator on my arm since my first hair removal video. Like a, at least a year ago. I'm like sweating. Whoop. So do I know what the pain's gonna be like? <laughs> no. We're gonna see this together. But I feel like it shouldn't be too bad. For some reason, I feel like my leg might be more sensitive than my arm. So I just kind of put this on as a buffer. This is what I've told myself. I'm going to do level one first. And I'm going to start with my hand. Ooh! Okay. 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 It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. It's like the pain equals if someone just kept slapping your hand. It's like, you know how you say ow? But it's like you say ow more because it was disrespectful to slap me on the hand than the actual <laughs> pain. So I'm just going to do a little bit. I'm going to I'm gonna graze my arm and get rid of the majority of the hair. Ooh, ooh, a little sting. Now it's starting to feel like a pinch. Okay. Now I'm gonna go, I hope you can see that before. Now I'm gonna do this part. I think I gotta move it up to level two because level one wasn't really doing nothing. <laughs> so I'm going to level two, but I don't know if everybody's hair grows like this. Even though I'm going down this way, my hair does grow this way. And when I used to, sh the, the three times you already my arm, I do shave it this way. So let me try using that later. It would make sense for me to try to use it this way. I don't know why I wasn't going this direction. Ooh! Okay. Uh-huh. I feel it. So the thing about this is, hoo -hoo -hoo, it literally feels like the same pain as tweezing. If you just like pull these hairs from the root. Mm, mm, mm. Um, but what I like about this compared to waxing is my hairs are small and stubble and with waxing that's not allowed you gotta let them get long so I normally like I said I normally just leave the hair on my arms but I'm in this weird season of like maybe I want to have no hair on my arms Ooh. sorry I just I feel it I literally haven't done, put this on my arm in like a year. So I feel like for the next 12 months, I want to do something new. The hair that I really care about getting rid of my face that I never shave is my face um, and my underarms and my bikini. I mean, this is YouTube, so you're not going to be able to see me get rid of the hair on my bikini line. But that's why I've been using the epilator on my face, my underarms, and my bikini line. And when I don't want to use the epilator and I just want a quick touch up, I'll just use the trimming setting. So I feel like ugh, my arm hurts. It hurts, but it's not unbearable. It hurts, but it, it's fine. Another setting, just because I don't want to make this video like too long, I just click this little button and I'm actually going to use the trimmer setting and just trim the rest of my arms because um i don't want to be going through this pain anymore because <laughs> the trimming's not that bad i just always do everything on level two um i don't even know if mine's just broken but this lock unlock is like a setting 
but like I could turn it on whether it's unlocked or unlocked. So I don't know if mine's been broken, but anyways, I'm just gonna trim the rest because that was, I don't feel like, <laughs> I'm on my period and pain hurts more than usual. So I'm just gonna trim. These are the two things I do. Why I don't shave is because I'm either trimming or epilating. I'll show you a close up before and after. I don't really get this upper part that much. Depends on what kind of mood I am. I might do like one swipe there and that's about it. Okay, I'm done. What I love about this, I could not be all willy nilly with the shaver. I would have nicks and cuts. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is nice. And if you're ever like, what about where's all the hair go? You literally just use this little brush brush. That's all. Do it over your sink. I'm going to clean this counter off later. But do this, just do this over your bathroom sink or whatever. Hairy, no hair. So this is the hair on my arm. See how short the hairs are? I use the epilator like this. I shaved my arms like a week ago. So this is how like normally my hair grows when I never use the epilator. This is me, I just used the epilator. I used the epilator more right here, and then I trimmed all this. This is all the trimmer. Trim, trim, trim. But I used the epilator up here, and then I trimmed all this. So this is a side-by-side -side difference. Keep in mind, I shaved this a week ago, so the hair normally would be longer than this. <sighs> Let's finish on our legs. And this is great, if you have an epilator, and you're like, I've been wanting to try it. Bring yours out. Let's do this at the same time. Let's do it together. Okay, because I want to make this video finish in the next five minutes or less. Let me put this sock on because this isn't for all you foot fetish people. I don't show you my feet for free. So we're putting our socks on. <laughs> ready for the leg? You ready for the leg? Right here. That's why I don't grow hair anymore. I'm using the epilator. And then hair grows all the way around. But it was just so painful. I didn't like it. So I just trimmed my legs. This is a trimmer. But I'm like, let me try one more time today. Let's see. Could today be the day I start epilating my legs? Or not? We're about to find out together. All right. Let's say a prayer. Jesus. Jesus. Um, some of you are stronger than me. Maybe you can do your whole leg. I can't. I've literally done that and I've never come back to it again. So let's let's try to do that much today. And then I'm just gonna trim the rest of my leg because I can't. it's too painful. Let's do level one. Mm! Wait, I need more baby powder. Mm. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Is it getting the hair? Okay, it is. I'm going over the bald spot first. That's why it doesn't hurt as bad. Okay, here we go. Hi. Okay. It's not unbearable, but it feels like a whole bunch of ants are biting me. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 It's not too bad. It's not too bad. The question really is, do I have the patience for this? Okay, so my hair is growing up this way. So I'm gonna go down this way. The reason why I don't do this to my whole leg is patience. I don't have the patience. But if you honestly put on your favorite TV show, you could do this and you'll be done by the end of the TV show. Okay. Ooh, and this, if you're trying to get rid of strawberry legs, this, this is it. Cause I'm telling you, that's the only part of my leg that doesn't have any strawberry, like, uh, that's what they call it, right? When your pores, the little dots from your hair. I'll do a little bit here and then, um, let's do level two. Let's do level two, I'm feeling bold. Ooh, okay. 
I'm trying to describe the pain. The pain literally feels like a whole bunch of ants biting you. Have you ever get, gotten it by a bit? Or a whole bunch of like, like someone going, like nibbling? Nibbling? I don't know. Like a whole bunch of mosquitoes. Imagine a whole bunch of, maybe not ants, mosquitoes. Imagine a whole bunch of mosquitoes biting you. But they're babies. They're baby mosquitoes. So you feel it. I don't know. Maybe I'm describing this horribly. I just really wanted to make this video to show you like a little sample of how I do each part of my body. But in all in all, it probably takes like longer than I want this video to be. I want this video to be over in like two minutes. So I'm just going to do this last little piece and then trim just so you can see like how it's done. The more you do it, the less it hurts. Okay. Okay. I think that's enough. So now I've done pretty much this whole section. Now I'm going to show you how I normally trim. So I just switch the attachment. And normally, all I do is like this. And I like this because you can do it dry. And then I just take a shower afterwards. So I just use this and I just go like this. Ooh, my legs is dry. Don't have any product on it. This is a lot faster. I would say it takes me mm, 20 minutes per leg. And I, like I said, I'll use this or the epilator on my bikini line. I'll use this or the epilator. I use the, the trimmer or the epilator on everywhere on my body. Literally, we'll use a trimmer when I don't feel like having pain. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, that's how I choose the difference. If I want it to be faster and less painful, I'll use a trimmer. If I have time and I'm like, oh, I want it to last longer, then I'll use the epilator. Because the trimmer doesn't last as long, but it lasts longer than shaving. Look, I've already done the whole top of my, my leg. So anyways, and I'll even do it more on this side. But basically you get it. Ooh, it's so silky smooth. So this doesn't really grow any hair. You can kind of see the difference. No hair, hair. And that was like, I don't know, months ago. And then hair. Ooh, my apologies. So that hasn't grown hair there in months then that see that that's the difference no hair hair ignore the ash from the baby powder but this is where i don't grow hair anymore this is what i just got rid of this is like kind of where i trimmed i trimmed all of this i trimmed all of this and this is like where I didn't trim. There's kind of like hair right there. This is like what my hair looked like before. So see that line? Hair and no hair. And this is all trimmer. This is just baby powder. Do do do. I like it. That's, I didn't do this. That's still hair. And this is the no hair. This video would be at least an hour long if I showed you my finished legs, my finished arms, but I'll do a close up. But that's basically how I get rid of the hair on my entire body. Don't talk about my eyebrows. I'm growing those out right now. But anyways, my face, epilade or trim, just based off of how much time I have, honestly. Underarms, I always epilate under my underarms just because it, I can do it in less than 60 seconds each underarm. I'm gonna now, depending on how I feel about the day, epilate or trim my arms and my legs. I just always trim them. Um, and But I'm going to be willing to maybe start epilating this year. The difference, epilating takes longer, but it lasts longer. Trimming, I'm obsessed with because you can't cut yourself. <laughs> I mean, because when I use a razor, I don't know about you, but sometimes I'd be going so fast, you'd be thinking I'm peeling a potato. And I'd be getting marks. Like, girl, slow down. It's just I'm never not in a rush. So I recommend, when in doubt, if you ever never use an epilator, 
at least use the trimmer, girl. Mm, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. No nicks. It's smooth. It's amazing. But I say use the epilator. It complements the trimmer because the epilator will make the hair grow back thinner, which makes the trimmer uh, results a lot smoother. But that's it. Um, I have so many more videos coming. I'll make a video about the more content I have coming for the next few months. DIYs in my bathroom more life hacks, so many things. I'm actually gonna help you if you wanna grow your YouTube, I got some stuff for you because I've grown thousands of followers without posting for seven months. You wanna know how I did that? Oh, I, I got a video for you, I got a video for you. But make sure you like and subscribe. It's so funny, I'm ending this video so ashy. It's baby powder if you just logged in. Um, like and subscribe because the videos are coming every single week because I am back in the game now. Have I said this before? Yes. But actually, shout out to my people that are going to hold me accountable, my friends. Um, we got this. We got this. So I'm going to have YouTube shorts a couple a week for you. I'll put all my vlogs on YouTube shorts. And then I'll have these videos coming for you at least every week. So Wednesdays and weekends, minimum, these videos are coming to you. Um, if you have any questions about what just happened, about hair removal, laser, all those things, anything DIY, how I actually clean up my skin. This is the worst my skin has ever been because I just started my period today, but this, like, is life-changing. My face used to have so many cysts and things on it to where my face hurt, and now it don't hurt no more. Ah, I could go on and on, but I don't want to make this video any longer, but if you never want to shave again, get this silk, Apple, um, get the bronze silk Apple 9. I'm not an affiliate. But it's on my Amazon storefront. That That's good for now. Um, eventually, I'll get that in order. And we're going to get that uh, affiliate link. Because we're trying to make that money. Um, until then, I think that's it. My name's Halicia. I'm here more often. That's all we can say, more often. I appreciate everybody who continues to leave me comments. I see you. I love you. And you are the reason why I'm still making these videos. And like it i'd still like it so until next time peace love and diy is that what i used to say i don't know toodaloo